Why, hello there, hero. How have you been getting adjusted to living in my kingdom? That's good to hear. See, I told you they would accept you. <laughs> Why do you seem a bit unsure about that? <sighs> What's wrong? What do you mean they're being too nice to you? There is no such thing. Okay. Just because they're being nice to you doesn't mean they want something out of you or want to take advantage of you. Not everybody is as crooked as them, you know. You're betrayed after all, so I suppose it is a bit normal for you to be on your toes. But I can assure you, all they want is to befriend you. Yes, you. Who wouldn't want to befriend you? Believe it or not, all we demons want is peace. We don't want to fight your kingdom. Well, the kingdom that you came from. I consider you one of mine now. Of course I do. Was that even a question? I know that change is scary. So I just want you to remember that you are welcome and safe here. This is your home as well now. And no one within my kingdom wishes you any harm. Nor would they even dare to. The rest of that party that betrayed you though? I can't say as much for them. But we are quite peaceful creatures by nature. We may look quite different with our ears and tails, but I think you've seen enough of our villages on your travels with your old party that you would understand that we, for the most part, just keep to ourselves and we help our own. And you are now one of our own. And long before that, we already considered you a friend. Albeit, we didn't know that it was you at the time. And if for some reason you do have an issue with someone, in my kingdom or not, promise that you'll let me know. You are part of my kingdom now. And therefore... You are also under my protection as well. No. It would not be a bother. You would not be inconveniencing me at all. I want to help you. Just like everyone else here. So don't feel bad about coming to me for help. Asking for help is not a weakness after all. It's a strength. You can't do everything on your own. <laughs> yes. I too ask for help. There is no way that I could take care of this kingdom all on my own without help. All of my most trusted advisors are here of their own choice. I don't need to order them around to do anything because we respect each other. And we regularly ask each other for help as well. So just because I'm on this seat as the queen does not mean that I'm always right. I just happen to know a few things. All it means is that I have a responsibility to make sure that everybody in my kingdom stays happy and safe. And you've been working towards that very same goal even before you were abandoned and betrayed by your party. You've been keeping my subjects safe ever since you stepped foot in my territory. Never caring if they had a tail or ears. And we didn't look quite like you. And my people have noticed. And now that they know who to thank, they are even happier than before. So I know it may be overwhelming. But there is nothing to be scared of here. No one is going to try and take advantage of you. Nobody here wishes you any harm. And you are not an outsider. 
You belong here now. This is your home. You're one of us now. I know it's not where you were born. It's not where you grew up either. And I know you probably still have some lingering attachments back to your old kingdom. But change? Change is a good thing. And after what happened to you, I don't blame you for being skeptical of everyone. But if you're skeptical of everyone, it's going to get very tiring very quickly. I was also betrayed once. So I know exactly what you're feeling. The lingering attachments you still have to them. How much time you spent with them. Trying to justify their actions. And trying to figure out some way to make it not their fault. But sometimes, you just have to realize that you're not the one at fault. Not everything is your fault. That's not what taking responsibility means. It doesn't mean that suddenly nobody else is accountable for anything they do. You're responsible for your own actions. Not theirs. Not anyone else's. What they did, that was their own choice. And you don't need to feel responsible for that. It's not your fault they chose to abandon you. I know your brain wants to make you think that. But you're not. And the more you think that, the more you're going to spiral. I know. I've been there. Which is why I think this change is all for the better. Now that you're here, living among my people, in my kingdom, I may be a bit biased, but I think it's pretty safe to say that you've been enjoying yourself much more here in my kingdom than well, you ever were with your old party. Am I right? I thought as much. You are no longer just a member of the hero's party. You are now the human hero of the demons. And you have always been. I know you weren't seeking out a special title. I know you weren't even trying to become a part of the hero's party in the first place. But that just makes it all the more noble. You have the support of me. And everybody else here. So I don't want you to doubt your own ability. And if you do, then I want you to train. Train so that you don't doubt yourself. And before you can trust anyone else, you first need to learn to trust yourself. And find your own identity. You're not just an accessory to some useless hero. You're free now. You are the hero of this story. And I don't think there could have been a better person for it. Human or demon, it matters not. Go and do what makes you happy. And I'm sure you'll bring happiness to others along the way. So stop doubting yourself. Stop second-guessing everything you do. And ask for help when you need it. It is not a weakness. It is a strength. Yes, as a hero there are a lot of expectations placed on you. But there is no rule saying you have to do it alone. So lean on me. Lean on the friends that you make here. And with that, you'll be able to accomplish anything. Even defeating me.